Tucked away inside a burgeoning art world at the NTC Promenade in Liberty Station is the new Pulse Gallery. It opened this month by the San Diego Fine Arts Society. And inside, a real treat for art lovers, sculptures from an international artist whose work is debuting in the U.S. this month and attracting lots of attention. Once I saw the cats, which were the first, um, first pieces that arrived, uh, I immediately knew that we had uh, someone that was quite powerful and someone that needed to be shared with the United States. Through a collaborative effort, Alexander Salazar brought Xiaoye Sun to San Diego. This is the first time the artist has been to the U.S. and shown his work. It takes a long, long time in preparation. Actually, I had been working with his uh, family member, Stephanie, uh, for quite some time on trying to figure out what the best way would be to um, bring the artist. I am very pleased to have my pieces here uh, in an exhibit, uh, thanks to my, um, to my cousin who started uh, trying to come contact galleries about my work and um, all of these pieces really express my um, heartfelt feelings um, about the world, about mankind uh, and about love. Xiaoye's journey from Beijing to the United States is a story of courage, passion and determination. I really was not a good fit for the Chinese education system because I did not want to study math and, and Chinese and science. I, I, was, I really had just had a passion for art and, and things that were not typically taught in schools. I was in middle school. I, I really just, I just could not stand it anymore. I had to stay true to myself and rather than try to do something that, that's just not myself. So one day I, I left my home and I took a train to uh, 200 miles away and I wanted to get a little boat and row to Japan and find my other cousin um, because I wanted freedom. But before I could leave uh, on the boat, my family found me and, and brought me back. But after that, it was a a real wake-up call for my family. When his family realized Xiaoye's passion for art could not be stopped, they sent him to Russia to study sculptures in college. The U.S. visit is a dream realized. He's a rebel. He refuses to conform, and he just had to pursue uh, what he wanted to pursue his passion. For most artists' lives, uh, it can be a struggle, and I think that that struggle probably comes out in the artwork. There's actually a self-portrait that he shared with us for the first time where he wrote in the bottom of the base his feelings. And I think that that um, sort of is coupled with the feelings that he has towards his family and how his family feels about him now. The sculpture is showing a man who is feeling helpless in this world. Um, and that is how I feel sometimes as an artist. That struggle is depicted through his artwork, using animals and humans to provoke conversation and interest in what often is considered taboo. Uh, he shows, a, shows an animal and also a human. Um, with the animal, I'm trying to show that um, animal by nature, they are sometimes happy, sometimes sad, um, and sometimes they, they look for food, they look for a mate. Uh, it's all part of nature. However, there are things that animals cannot understand that humans do, like smoking or drinking excessively or even committing suicide. Um, so these are things that, that humans do that are non unnatural, that animals cannot understand. And that's why the dog, if you look at it, it's, it's, um, its head is cocked and it's probably thinking, what are you doing? Why are you committing suicide? So it's a piece that encourages people to pursue what is natural and what, is, what makes you happy. I see that Americans are very happy people and always smiling. And and I want to leave them with a message that is of, of courage and of ability to overcome hardship. This artist is going to be very successful here in the United States. I think that this was a great start at Pulse Gallery because this is going to also be an internationally recognized gallery. Uh, the San Diego Fine Arts Study is just one small part of a bigger picture, but it's also a big impact for the scene here in San Diego. I'm Phoebe Chong Chua for Art Pulse TV.